Kalalal, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. Double and Sir Apostles and Elders of Great Melison had ruled well. And salutations to the brothers also, they pushing the wood and all truth and sincerity. Again, to the brothers pushing out the wood and all truth and sincerity. Day in, day out. Right? A perfect example of the men that not doing this thing in sincerity and in truth is this man right here. So called Avenger for your side. He's basically the Avenger for Esau. The Avenger for Satan, for the devil. That's what he doing has nothing to do with Yahushai. That we will say Mawat. Right? Mawat. And this brother, um, the brother here, GMS, behold, I come quickly. You know, he put up a video where they was touching on basically this. Right? A nice video. You no? Know? Courage. Go and watch it. These men, they went in. And, and as I see here, in the old hardness, right? Because we know that we we had to be slandered, men had to speak evil against us. Because even back then, with Yahweh Shai, they did, not everyone speak good about him. That's not everyone will speak good about you. Right? We had to be hated. We had to be hated. We had to be, and same way, some of us will be killed. So we will be hated. We will be talking. We will be talked part of. And that is just basically what it is. But this nigga here, this chick here, a hey, mawat. Mawat to you and all the men that be following you in this wickedness. What these men don't know is the same spirit, right? With Judas. Right? When that evil spirit come into Judas, the same spirit these men have. Because they was once speaking in truth. No, what they have on them is straight, straight is a, just an evil spirit on them. Yeah. And as the pitya say here, nigga, is that lipstick? LOL. And I, hey, these men are feminine spirit. Feminine. Hey, these men gain on worse than bitches. This Proverbs 21 verse 4 and an high look and a proud heart and the plowing of the wicked is sin. Hey, then that is just it with this man here. He, what is what is look? What is what this man look? It's not a proud look, that a proud hey, a proud look. And a proud heart because he believes what he doing is the right thing. Really proud. All the men that fall in here, they're just pro. They say, and the plowing of the wicked is sin. And we, what is man plowing in? What he really plowing in? He plowing in wickedness. That is what he plowing in wickedness. You know, plowing in nothing good. Right? And this, that's Proverbs 21 verse, verse 4 say, the, and the plowing of the wicked is sin. Hey, and they, this man here is just wicked. Just wicked. Right? And if, if it's say the plow and the wicked is sin, so then where is the payment for sin? Romans 6 verse 23. It says, For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. And the gift of God basically is this 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 word keep on plowing in, in this thing day in, day out. The gift of God is falling, is is departing from sin. Departing from wickedness. But what this nigga doing is just he in wickedness. But the gift of God is eternal life through Yahweh Shia Mashiach, our Lord. <laughs> hey. But these men is going off, straight off. We you gain hacking people? We you gain we you gain and hacking brothers? I just I shouldn't say your brothers, right? We you get in hacking men computer, hacking men personal documents. You going on you have time to go and watch videos on YouTube about hacking men pages, men thing, men computer. That what you have time to do? Right, Donald Trump kicking off cheeks, right? 
they killing they they shooting behind the the natives in um for the pipeline right you don't see in world war three go at the at the brink at the brink are happening but what you doing is hacking men computer that what you are time to do that what the scriptures say this plowing and wickedness and it is a sin it is a sin you know you might have a oh, thing um then a law again hey scriptures say if, if you want to plow and wickedness is a sin and what you doing there is plowing and wickedness Be really proud because outside they're more proud than women. It's Proverbs 19 verse 29. Say judgments are judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. You have plenty stripes to get. You and your men have plenty stripes to get from your hour by Hashem Yahushai. Right? You use not no avenger for your shai. You are avenger for Esau. Avenger for Satan. You have nothing to do with your shy. You understand? As as the Peter say, wait a avenger for your shy end of an age. Hey, basically that is what it is. That you, you cut yourself there. Right? Before he was an avenger for your shy. No, that is not what he is. It is really an empire age. What's your Peter? What's your Peter? Looking like you're wearing on lipstick, face looking like it bleach. Right? Looking like a, a pure agent, and as brothers did before, and as men speak plenty of times before, it will have agents. Hey, you basically is an agent, right? You basically is an agent. How it is? <laughs> right? So. Jump to Proverbs 26, right? Starting from verse, verse 3. You see, a whip for the horse, right? A bridle for the ass, and a rod for the fool's back. <laughs> hey, <laughs> these men don't know. He's really a fool, boy. And I know it's your payment. You are rod for your back. Soon, your Bashem, your Shai will come, and you are things to pay for. Say a whip for the horse, a bridle for the ass, and a rod for the a rod for the fool's back, and right. Here's the thing. You're a fool, man. Street fool. As I was saying, World War Three on the rise. So things. Hey. Things. Hey. But you still him to go and watch videos on how to hack somebody computer, how to hack men YouTube pages. That what you doing? Instead, they go inside and preach you would and make videos on edifying the hopefully left and edifying Israel. You want you want hack men men computer? They a you really are fool man. And I was saying before when. Same thing with Yahusha and Judas. Judas had his spirit. But that spirit went. And what went on? A evil spirit came unto him. And it's the same thing with you. You all, well, These men was once preaching the word. And begging up their lords. You know? And they have videos to prove that. But no. What they're doing? They're just scorning and scoffing. And that is to show you the most I take that spirit. And that is, that is just to show you the fear. Right? You the fear you're supposed to have for Yahweh. But Hashem Yahushai. Because what these men, the most I just take that spirit and pour evil spirit on them to just do what wickedness. Because the most I know that their judgment to come, right? Is this to show you? You really have to fear the most I have about Shemir Oshai. Right? Really don't know. So see, men just really proud. 
and this really pro and this really pro pro in the heart pro look when you watch this you know what these men look what they do is just things of our or things of our pride This is Isaiah chapter 32, right? Verse 6. It says, For the vile person will speak villainy and his heart will work iniquity. Right? So, what is what what what, what these men doing? It's just basically it's just, it's just basically iniquity. What I'm working is iniquity. Right? Say for the vile person will speak villainy. What what should he doing? What he thinks he speak of? Right? Is you have vile person or let's look up the meaning quick for vile. <laughs> I know the meaning for vile is for the meaning for vile in that same Isaiah 32 verse 6 right in the Bible concordance it say stupid wicked or fool foolish a foolish man or a foolish woman right vile person right and that is just basically what a vile means foolish and just like what I said before right a road for, for the fool by right? I wrote for the full back, for the back. There are plenty. These men are judgment to get. You are bashing, you are shy. All the men are full of these men as well. Judgment for them as well. Right? So I'm going to finish up Isaiah 32 verse 6. It says, For the vile person will speak villainy, and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy. And that is the thing. You can't be a avenger for your house shy and doing this thing. You, you're going against your house shy. So he's a hypocrite. And to utter error against the Lord. And what you doing is uttering error. Right? Against Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And to, and to utter error against the Lord. To make empty the soul of the hungry. And he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. And all the men. Right? All the men that fall. These men are thirsty. So you know what they're doing? As the scriptures say. They will feel. They will feel. Feel. Because all the men that fall in him is the same hypocrisy, the talking against us. Now we know we have to go to that. The men are GMS. Right? The true men are Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Hashem. The true men are the Lord. Because when you watch all these rest camps, nobody in doing, nobody in, in talking and talking about them so like how they talk about GMS. I stop to say we, we will be, we, we, that will happen. That will happen to the men and the Lord. Just to show you how low men could go, this is a good example. This fella right here on the Avenger for your house, shy. Right? Good example of how low they will go. That's why you see the scriptures, they kill the prophets. You see me to do it, see me they're trying to do. Hey, the low. Right? Hmm. So, with that, hey, you know, brothers, and all the, all the, to the, um, to the, a to the little bit of sisters as well and to the brothers who sincere to this to this truth to the Yahweh Hashem you know always keep on asking the most side to keep that Holy Spirit in here keep on renewing your spirit right keep on renewing your spirit and don't take the Holy Spirit away from you to end up like these men right so without that when the girl please stay Yahweh Hashem you Double honor, see the apostles and elders of great millstone, our teachers, our leaders, right, our apostles, and shalom to the brothers also, they pushing your wood in all truth and sincerity. Now, to, again, to the brothers that pushing your wood in all truth and sincerity.
and sincerity right with that until next time shalom